Last summer, a baby seagull fell off the roof where its nest was and into our yard. It's actually a common gull, or sometimes called mew gull. And since it looks like a little bread bun, the kids decided to name him Buns and call it a boy, even though we don't know if it's a girl or boy. You can see his mother on the roof over there, and she's getting ready to fly down to feed him. We didn't touch Buns, and we tried not to interfere, because we thought it's best to let his mother take care of him. I estimate that on day one, Buns was a week and a half old. Mothers, and sometimes fathers too, feed their babies through a process called regurgitation, which kind of looks like they're just throwing up. When the babies are hungry, which is pretty much all the time, they make this crying tweeting sound and peck at their mother's feet, at the beak, or all over their body until they get the food they want. You can see by day three, he's already starting to lose some of his baby plumage, or baby feathers. It looks like he's getting bald on top because of that. And at day five, you can see Buns' tail's getting bigger, and his flying feathers are getting bigger. Watching Buns every day was a lot of fun because he was very curious about everything. Little toys, feathers, he would try to pick it up, play with it, see what it is. Everything was brand new to him. The world was just a big mystery. Look at that cute face, he looks like a little dinosaur. <laughs> You could see that even when he's resting, he's still communicating with his mother. This would happen a lot, where Buns would make a call, and then his mom would make a return call, then he would make another call. They would keep in contact. We went on vacation, so we're skipping ahead to day 12. Look at how much bigger he got. Look at those feathers. He's really happy to have the fresh water. This is the first he's seen us in five days. What is he trying to do? I think he's really happy to see us. He's like doing a show for us, I think. <laughs> He's really excited, I think. <laughs> Wahoo! I love water! I love water! Tweet, 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 tweet! I love water! Wahoo! One thing's for sure, the mothers are very protective. That's the call she makes when another bird or animal comes into her territory. And the mother's almost always on the fence watching her baby. Sometimes she has to go away and get food, and the father comes down, and he occasionally feeds buns. Hello. Hello. Taika's doing some gardening. Guess who's with her? What's that over there, Taika? It's a common goal. Yes, a common goal. Sometimes called a mew goal. And you named him Buns. Oh, what's he doing? Looking around, he hears his mother just outside the fence, and he's starting to get very curious. Oh, she's coming down to feed him. Brought some good food for you, Buns. Woohoo! Here you go. Why don't you eat this? Yummy, yummy! I think it looks like some kind of berries. Oh, he likes that. That's like the best food in the world. Up, oh, time to go. There's the father. And he sometimes feeds buns. And he guards the area. Just a block away from our house, near the water, we ran into a couple common gulls, just like buns, and probably about the same age. These gulls can't fly either. One thing was becoming clear. Buns was not a nestling anymore. He was a fledgling, which means he should be learning how to fly. But this area of our yard that he's in was too small to do that. So I had to put a box in there and some food inside to get him outside. And now, Here's his first day outside. At this point, he's only been outside our yard for about 10 minutes, and he's already trying to learn to fly. Look at that. Ooh, that's fun. He's very curious about everything, and really curious about this flying thing. He's still calling his mom. Oh, this is the first time he saw rain and he was chasing the bubbles. It was really funny. 
this is like an amazing experience for him. He thought the bubbles were like little toys or something. And there's the mother and father just above the building, watching over him to make sure he's okay. But he's learning to fly really fast. Day 18, look at that. That's just the second day outside our yard and he can already fly, a little bit at least. There he goes again. That was even a longer flight, amazing. He's still asking his mother for some food and even though he's outside there and flying a little bit, she's still feeding him, but he has to eat real fast because if he doesn't eat the food fast enough, she'll eat it. And here's the last day I filmed him. Day 21, and he's flying pretty good now. He would fly over to this children's playground to sleep and keep safe. For about two weeks, Buns stayed in the area and visited us every day. And then the entire gull colony migrated south. Bye bye, Buns. 